Start by creating an EC2 instance in AWS and install K3S and Ale on the instance. Once you complete the load balancer setup, you can use the instance as an internal developer platform. Ale is an internal developer platform service designed for platform engineering. Let's begin the installation and configuration to set up the EC2 instance as an internal developer platform. First, create a VPC, as shown on the screen. Next, generate a key pair from the EC2 dashboard. Allocate an elastic IP to your instance. Now, create an EC2 instance. For the OS image, select Ubuntu. Use an instance type of T3 large or higher. In the network settings, choose a public subnet for the subnet. And enable auto assign public IP. You'll need a total of six inbound security group rules. Set the source type for all rules to anywhere. We recommend setting the storage volume to at least 60 GB. Once everything is set, create the EC2 instance. After the instance is created, associate it with the Elastic IP. From the EC2 details page, click the connect button, copy the command provided in the SSH client tab, and connect to the instance via SSH. Disable the Ubuntu firewall and install the necessary packages such as Docker and Helm. Next, install K3S. Make sure the commands include the public IP of the instance you created. After the installation is complete, check that the cluster is running properly. To allow the ALE dashboard to connect to the cluster, install the ALE agent. Now, install the Nginx Ingress controller. Check if the public IP of the instance is applied correctly. Install the ALE runtime package on the instance. To run ALE in production mode, enter the name of the cluster in the command. If a cluster name has not been specified, type default as the cluster name. If you see logs shown on the screen, ALE is now running. Next, go to the AWS console to create and configure a load balancer. Start by creating a target group. In the target group settings, change the HTTP protocol port to 9001. Select the instance as shown on the screen and create the target group. Now, create the load balancer. Select the VPC you created earlier and choose public subnets for the availability zones.
Select the security group and target group you previously created, and then create the load balancer. On the load balancer page, add a rule. Click add condition, select host header as the condition type, and enter the full domain name, including the app subdomain. Set the priority of the rule to highest. After creating the rule, wait until the target group status is marked as healthy before proceeding. In Route 53, create a record for the domain you want to connect. Set the record name to app, and enable the alias. For traffic routing, select application and classic load balancer, and then configure the region in the load balancer. Next, go to the AWS Certificate Manager dashboard and create a certificate. Enter the domain name as app.yourdomain. For DNS validation, add the required DNS record directly from the certificate page. Once the certificate has been successfully issued, proceed to the next step. Go back to the load balancer page and add an HTTPS listener. Set the protocol to HTTPS. Select the target group and certificate you created, and then add the listener. Test the setup by accessing the configured address. Before creating an admin account, you'll need to configure the ingress settings. Return to Route 53 and add a record. Set the record name to a wildcard and use the public IP address of the instance as the value. Next, install Cert Manager and Cluster Issuer from the terminal. Return to the browser and create an admin account. In the preview domain field, enter the root domain you connected. To apply a TLS certificate to the preview domain of the deployed service, go to the cluster settings tab. Enable HTTPS and enter the required values. AL supports an auth configuration feature that allows easy integration of external authentication sources such as GitHub and Google. In the authentication section of the settings page, you can configure external authentication methods. Creating and linking a GitHub app will enable GitHub login and allow you to deploy repositories. Google login can also be added. For detailed setup instructions, please refer to the documentation page. After adding authentication methods and reconnecting, you can see that the GitHub and Google login buttons have been added. After logging in, click the plus button on the dashboard to see the apps and templates provided by default. Select Deploy from Git repository and choose a repository from your linked GitHub account. Select a preset for deploying the repository, and enter the necessary configuration values such as environment variables and port numbers to deploy the service. Access the running service. You'll see that a certificate has been automatically issued for the preview domain. We have now successfully installed and tested the internal developer platform on EC2 instance. For more details on how to use AL, refer to the documentation page. Thank you.